Strider, Self-Excited Tripedal Dynamic Experimental Robot by Jeremy Heaston, Dennis Hong, Yvette Morazani, Pin Ren, and Gabriel Goldman from the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at Virginia Tech. Robot legged locomotion is often motivated by the observation of how animals move in nature. Here, we present a novel walking machine with three legs that utilize the concept of actuated passive dynamic locomotion as an original concept of a new type of practical walking system. Since no animal in nature has three legs, how does this three-legged robot move? In pop culture, examples of three-legged robots have emerged throughout the years. These fictional three-legged machines were described in H.G. Wells' 1898 novel, War of the Worlds, as alien tripods and have also appeared in popular video games. However, the novel tripedal walking robot Strider we present here does not move like any of these fictional three-legged machines. Here, we present the novel tripedal gait used by Strider. Strider begins its step with a stable stance like a camera tripod. As the center of gravity of the robot shifts forward, the robot begins to fall in the direction perpendicular to the pivot line. As the robot falls forward, the middle leg naturally swings between the two stance legs using the concept of actuated passive dynamic locomotion. The swing leg then catches the fall and the robot resets to its original tripod posture in preparation for its next step. Here we show an animation of Strider walking using the tripedal gait. Note that the body needs to rotate 180 degrees every time it takes a step to prevent the legs from tangling up. This novel tripedal gait is highly energy efficient and it uses its built-in dynamics to swing the middle leg between the two stance legs. Also, since there are always more than one foot in contact with the ground, controlling the robot for stability is relatively easy. Unlike most other legged robots that use the concept of actuated passive dynamic locomotion, Strider can easily change its direction of walking simply by changing the sequence of choice of the swing leg shown in blue and the stance legs shown in red. This way, the tripedal gait can move the robot in 60 degree interval directions for each step or any other angle intervals with different step sizes. As the sequence of the steps change, the direction in which the robot is moving also changes for steering the robot. Since Strider has long legs and is lightweight, it can be folded and launched into difficult to access areas or for long range travel. When landing, it deploys its legs and uses it to absorb the shock. Thanks to its tall stance, it is ideal for deploying sensors at high position, such as cameras for surveillance or antennas for communication. This shows the mechanical design of our first prototype of Strider. Each leg has a total of four degrees of freedom, three at the hip and one at the knee. The hip rotator joints use the slip ring couplings for signal and power allowing the body to continuously rotate about itself. Each joint is actuated by a DC motor with optical encoders for feedback. With the right mechanical design parameters, the actuated passive dynamic tripedal gait can be repeated with minimal control and power consumption. This shows the dynamic simulation of the tripedal gait using the optimized design parameters used for the first prototype. To verify our dynamic analysis, a simple experiment of a single tripedal gait was conducted using the first prototype. This shows the comparison between the dynamic simulation and the actual experiment. Exploiting the concept of actuated passive dynamic locomotion, Strider can walk dynamically with high energy efficiency and minimal control. Unlike other passive dynamic walking machines, this unique tripedal locomotion robot is inherently stable and can change directions. This video presented our ongoing work on the development of the novel tripedal locomotion robot Strider. This work is presented by Romella, the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at Virginia Tech. We would like to thank the Office of Naval Research for their continued support for this work.